With a relatively cool climate, Britain doesn't have that many reptile species, but a few non-natives have managed to find a home here, and here's four of them. Starting off with the Asclepian snake. It's the only established non-native snake. The Asclepian is found across much of Western Europe, and now Britain. Two established populations exist, one being in Snowdonia, near the Welsh Mountain Zoo, and the other is in central London, next to London Zoo. How they got there is a mystery. Unlikely to be mixed up with native snakes because of the size, getting over six foot long, and often being found up in trees and bushes. They are mostly mammal feeders, eating mice, rats, and even prey up to the size of a grey squirrel. They have a yellow to golden colour to the skin, and will bask out on warmer days to soak up the sun. There is fossil evidence of them being here from the Pleistocene, so they were present in the UK naturally, albeit several thousand years ago. Next up is the red-eared slider, a species from America. This terrapin is one of many non-native turtles that can be found in the UK, dotted around its many urban areas of Britain, from duck ponds, canals and park lakes. Most of these are discarded pets, and they start off small and cute before getting to the size of a dinner plate and trying to bite your hand off. So far they haven't been able to breed, but adults can survive our climate fine. They'll eat pretty much anything, making them a problem as they'll scoff ducklings, fish and plant matter. Our next species is the wall lizard, a small lizard primarily found in the south of England. They do naturally occur in the Channel Islands. These thin lizards get their name from the habit of hanging around walls, rocks and boulders, which they like to cling to and bask on. Often they hide in the cracks and will lay their eggs in there. They can breed quickly and don't have a specific breeding season, producing eggs all year round. They feed mainly on small invertebrates and are prey to many species like kestrels, foxes and corvids. The last species is the green lizard, which has a similar distribution and is also native in the Channel Islands. These are much bigger and stockier and of course bright green. These lizards prefer densely vegetated habitats, such as woodland, scrub or heathland that is close to open sunny areas. It's the largest lizard in the UK, up to 35 centimetres in length. Males during the breeding season get a blue throat. When young, they're often darker with mottled spots and white lines on the flank. That's our countdown of four non-native reptiles. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media as well as the podcast that I host, The Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.